I've got a little problem. I was playing along and all of a sudden the ground fell out from underneath me. So now I'm waiting for coal to show up with the nurse tank, not to fill me with nitrogen, but to empty me of nitrogen. See, my biggest concern here is all the plumbing underneath the tractor. I got the hitch lifted all the way up. This tank is just barely off the ground right now. And the plumbing comes out of both these tanks under there. So hopefully I just, I don't know, I'm hoping I can back this thing out once we get the weight of the nitrogen off the tanks. And I'm also hoping that nothing breaks when I back out because the hoses and everything are sitting on the ground right now. And I don't want to dump fertilizer all over the ground here, so that's what we're going to do. All right, here we go. Let's go. No. Yeah, we did. Back end of the tractor's up now. Let's do her one more time. Okay. All right, hit it. Don't stop now, don't stop now. Oh. All right, we got a little change of plans. We're gonna have to go the other way on this deal. It's not coming out backwards. All righty, I am uh, ready when you are. All right. Gosh, I'm still moving. Well, we got really lucky after we got most of the mud dug off of it it seemed like nothing was actually really broken so we kind of pulled as much mud off as we could in the field uh, we zip tied the hoses up so that we wouldn't run over them on the way back home and then took it back home to reevaluate things in the morning well that's enough fun for one day tomorrow morning we're gonna have to wash this thing off underneath put new zip ties on and away we'll go i guess Cole, we are having a good time. We're having a good time. We are having a good time. Oh yes, a little dirt there, a little dirt there. Some dirt there. You ever get stuck so bad that you got mud up on your cab mounts and between your hydraulic hoses? Well, the dry cleaning is done. Now we gotta wash it. Well, I cannot believe we got this lucky, but we washed that thing up underneath and there was only one washer that we had to take out and put back in because it was pinched just a little bit from a hose being twisted. Everything else is perfectly fine, no leaks. It's been really fun watching the reveal row cleaners on the right side of the planter in this no-till situation and how they compare to the floating Martin row cleaners on the left side. One thing I have noticed is that that gauge wheel that's built into the precision planting reveal row cleaners is allowing me to push down with a lot of force with the airbags and clear a really nice path. If I push down too hard on the Martins, they do tend to get down in the ground a little too far and dig a big trench ahead of the row unit. Would you look at that? If you look real hard, you can see Cole standing in the waterway right there with my supper. I bet you $20 he parked clear over there like half a mile away 
and thought that I was gonna end up back there. He doesn't look too happy. <laughs> Cole, did you just descend out of the heavens? No, I walked a half mile to find you. <laughs> and my guess is you thought I was gonna end up back over there? Well, so what had happened was I was driving here and I figured, you know, I'll just look at the remote view, see where he is. Well, I forgot to do that. Um, I parked at the usual parking spot and I looked at the remote, remote view at that point and Carl was all the way across the field, a mile away from me, literal mile that is. So I decided instead of driving over there and trying to get him turned around, I'll just, I could use a walk, you know. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I'm gonna eat. Man, it is really nice to have a minion to get out and fill your nitrogen for you. <laughs> I didn't ever think I'd be this lucky. Well, good morning. We are calibrating one of our insecticide meters because this particular box had about 20 or 30 pounds too much insecticide left this morning. So obviously it's not putting out enough. Not good. Well, I'm frustrated to report that we calibrated it and it was basically right on. I cannot explain why that box still had a bunch of insecticide in it and all the rest of them were I can't believe 15 rows would be out of calibration and one would be correct, but I don't know. Here we go. Well, it's a big moment for the coal man. I got to go get some insecticide. He's going to run the planter. First time flying it solo. What do you think, Cole? I'm excited. I think um, Carl's prepared me for this. Um, whole life's led to this moment, so let's let her rip. All right, don't bungle it while I'm gone. No bungling will happen, I promise. Well, this is the last insecticide field of the year, so it's time to do the old insecticide box shuffle where we use these last two boxes to top off each one of the base units so that each row can run out at approximately the same time when we're done. Guess what? We're on the way home to load up two more fields, 65 acres, and we're done. Well, done with corn. Then we gotta start planting soybeans tomorrow. My goodness, you still riding along with me? That is some dedication. Well, it has just turned midnight just now and I'm wiping out the last pass on the last cornfield right as we speak. That's it right there, the last corn going in. The final countdown. There we are. All done. Time to hop in the old F-250, wait, F-350, get in bed. You ready for this? Yeah. 